Hello everyone, my name is Rohit Kumar Thakur and in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a tic-tac-toe game using React Native and Expo. Let's jump into the project. Start by creating an Expo project using the blank template. Give your application a name and continue to download the necessary dependencies. The only external package we will need for this project is the linear gradient package. Install it by running the official command which you can see on the screen. Now let's run the project to ensure everything is working fine before we proceed. Great, our app is up and running without any issues. Now let's move on to the next step. Create a new folder named source in the root directory of the project. Inside the source folder, create a javascript file called game.js. This file will contain the logic for our tic-tac-toe game. Once you have created the game.js file, import the game component into the app.js file. Now let's add a beautiful background color with a gradient effect using the linear gradient component. Follow along to witness the magic. Our application's background now looks stunning with a gradient effect. Now let's move on to the next section. We will create another JavaScript file for the board component, which will handle the rendering of the tic-tac-toe board on the screen. Here we have the code for the board.js component. This component receives two props, board which represents the current state of the tic-tac-toe board and on press a function that handles the cell presses.
The board component is a functional component that returns some JSX code. It consists of a parent view component that acts as the container for the tic-tac-toe board. Inside the parent view, we have a map function that iterates over each row of the board array. For each row, it renders a child view component with the row style. Within each row, we have another map function that iterates over each cell in the row array. For each cell, it renders a touchable opacity component which is used to make the cell touchable. The touchable opacity component has an onPress prop that is set to a callback function onPress. This function is triggered when a cell is pressed and it passes the row index and cell index as arguments to the onPress function provided as a prop. Inside the touchable opacity, we have a text component that displays the value of the cell. This value represents the player move which can be X, O or an empty string. To style the components, we have a style object created using the stylesheet.create function. This styles object contains various style properties such as board, row, cell and cell text which define the layout and appearance of the components. And that's the code for board component. It rendered the tic-tac-toe board on the screen and allows user to interact with the cells by pressing on them. Alright, here we have the game.js file where all the magic happens. Let's break it down step by step to understand how this tic-tac-toe game works. We begin by importing the necessary components and libraries. We have React, use state, use effect from React, and various components from React Native such as view, touchable opacity, style sheet, alert, and text. We also import the board component which we will use to render the game board. Next, we define the initial state of the game. We have an initial board array which represents the initial empty game board. We also have states for board to hold the current game state, player to track the current player and winner to store the winning player. Moving on, we have the handle press function. This function is called when a user presses a cell on the game board. It takes in the row index and cell index as parameters representing the position of the cell that was pressed. Within this function, we first check if the cell is empty and if there is no winner yet. If both conditions are met, we create a new copy of the board using the spread operator and update the corresponding cell with the current player symbol. 
we then update the state with the new board and switch the player for the next turn. Now comes the exciting part, check for a winner. We have the check winner function responsible for detecting if a player has won the game. The function first check for winning combination in rows, columns and diagonals. It iterates over each row and columns to compare the values in those positions. If a winning combination is found, the set winner function is called to update the winner state. To provide a seamless experience, the game allows player to reset the board game after game ends. The reset board function resets the board, player and winner states to their initial values. It is called when a game ends in either a win or a tie. Speaking of wins and ties, we have two use effect hooks to handle those scenarios. The first use effect hook is triggered when the winner state changes. If a winner is detected, an alert is displayed with the message player x or o won using the alert.alert .alert function. Pressing the OK button triggers the reset board function to reset the game. The second use effect hook is triggered when the board state changes. If the board is completely filled with no winner, indicating a tie, 
an alert is displayed with the message it's a tie again pressing the ok button triggers the reset board function to reset the game Finally we have the return statement where we render the game components. We have a view component as the root container which holds the game board and the reset button. Inside the view we also render a text component to display the title tic tac toe game. The game board itself is rendered using the board component which we imported earlier. It takes in the board state and the handle press function as props. Lastly we render a touchable opacity component as the reset button. It has a dark background color, padding and border radius to give it a button like appearance. Pressing the button triggers the reset board function to reset the game. And let's not forget about the styles. We have a styles object with various styles defined such as container, title, reset button and reset button text. These styles control the appearance of the game component providing a visually appealing layout. With the board component in place, our application is now ready to be played with friends and family. Thank you for watching this tutorial on creating a tic-tac-toe game using React Native and Expo. I hope you found it helpful and enjoyed the process. Stay tuned for more React Native Expo videos in the future. See you next time.